Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I'm back after the break I took last week, bringing you an overview of everything you should expect to see at WWDC 2016 in June. This is Apple's big event for the summer, and they could be unveiling a variety of hardware and software products, so in this video I'm just going to be telling you exactly what to expect. So one of the biggest announcements is probably going to be iOS 10, the next version of iOS. We don't know all of the changes coming in the operating system just yet, but there have been some rumors suggesting that it could be a pretty exciting update. For one thing, iOS 10 is expected to include a redesigned Apple Music app with a more intuitive user interface and a bolder, more streamlined design. The new tab is probably going to be replaced with a browse option, and better access to song lyrics will also be included, making Apple Music easier than ever to use. A Siri SDK could also be announced, which would allow third-party developers to add Siri support into their apps for the first time. Allowing Siri to interface with third-party apps is significantly going to increase the functionality of the personal assistant, and I think it's actually a really great step for Apple iOS 10 could also include Apple Pay support for web browsers, which would allow Apple Pay to be used to make purchases via Safari, and I'm also expecting to see some improvements to the Photos app, but I'm not exactly sure what features will be added just yet. Either way though, iOS 10 is going to be a big update, and it's going to be very interesting to see exactly what Apple adds. Now along with the new version of iOS, WWDC generally brings an updated version of the Mac operating system as well. Last year's update was El Capitan, and it was designed to introduce new refinements, bug fixes, and performance its optimizations. OS 10.12 though is shaping up to be a much bigger update with some major feature additions. One of the major headline features in OS 10.12 may be Siri integration, with the Siri button available in the menu bar and through an icon on the dock. We've actually seen a leaked version of the Siri dock icon with a colourful waveform design, and Siri on the Mac will presumably be able to perform all the same functions available on iOS, such as opening apps, playing music, and answering questions. Along with Siri integration, OS 10.12 may include an updated version of iTunes with a redesigned Apple Music experience to match the changes coming in iOS 10, and it also could support unlocking Macs via an iPhone and Apple Pay in the browser as well. Most of the leaks so far point to OS 10.12 just for basically mirroring the changes in iOS 10, but Apple might just also add some really unexpected features as well, which would always be welcome. Now speaking of OS's, Apple's two newest operating systems are watchOS and tvOS, and they're expected to see updates at WWDC as well. There really isn't that much information about what Apple would be adding just yet, so the incoming features in the Apple Watch and Apple TV will be a surprise. Now there could also potentially be refreshes of some Mac models, the Retina MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini, and the Mac Pro are all overdue for an update, although there's no concrete evidence that Mac refreshes are coming at WWDC. There were some early rumors suggesting that Apple could debut a refreshed Retina MacBook Pro model at WWDC, but some recent information from one analyst suggests that the Retina MacBook Pro refresh won't happen until fall of 2016. There's always the possibility that Apple could unveil the new MacBook Pro at the event, and then release it later in the year, but that's not really guaranteed or even rumored at this point. Last year Apple didn't unveil any hardware at WWDC, and while I found that a bit disappointing, it's very possible that Apple might be doing that again this year. But with that said, let me know what you'd like to see at WWDC 2016 in the comments below. From what I've seen so far, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of upgrades to Apple software, which is definitely necessary for the hardware that probably is going to be coming in the fall, and that's definitely a good thing. But you know, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you are excited as to what Apple might be unveiling, and I will see you next time.